What's rocking? Did you miss me? I missed y'all too. I missed y'all so much I followed y'all today. So close your mouths because you cold busted. Sit down. So disappointed I don't know what to do with you. I don't I don't remember the dialogue after that part. What's the word, y'all? Um so I'm back in New York. Some of y'all know that already. Some of y'all don't. Some of y'all have put it together by the background, y'all could tell. Y'all been paying attention. <clears throat> usually when I transition from one spot from one location to another, I usually lose like a day of blogging or something like that because you know, just with all of the switches, you know, with, with the travel and all of the the re-getting, say, you know, I got to do certain things when I first touch down and all of that. Just, you know, today I feel like I lost a couple of, I mean, I don't feel like, I definitely did lose a couple of days. And, you know, here we are. So, allegedly... The baby oil is not lit, <clears throat> not laced. I say allegedly. I mean, I had to. I said, I believe I had to say allegedly the baby oil was laced. But I don't know about none of these reports. It ain't like I'm in the lab. It ain't like I'm in the courtroom. It ain't like I'm in the none of that. So allegedly it was laced. Now allegedly it ain't. I don't know where, you know, I, it's, it's, I think it's important for me to tell you, I don't know where the source of none of this information is. You know what I mean? I am not a reporter. No, my sources, my sources don't go that deep. Like, I ain't got no source in the courtroom. You know what I mean? I got a little bit of courtroom knowledge. Like, I could tell y'all this. P. Diddy got locked up when? In like March? No, no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping too much. That's when they raided his crib in March. He got locked up in like September, right? For him to be going to trial in May, that's fast. That's fast, bro. It is. Like, I've been locked up. I've went to trial before. And I know tons of niggas who been locked up and have fought a case and, you know, have went to trial or or or, or, or fought a case right to the brink of trial. And that shit can take two to three years, bro. Like, they will hold you on the island. Like, niggas who don't get no bail. Nigga or a nigga can't afford the bail. You'll be on the island for two years fighting your case. Looking crazy in the courtroom. Looking like wild man Steve. Grizzly Adams. He gonna be in courtroom. One of, I'm, be on courtroom looking like gruff daddy. You know what I'm saying? That's... Mm -mm. It's not the look he going for. But anyway... I was about, before I get distracted, I almost, ADHD almost got me. Like, six, what's that from? September to May? Bro, that's fast. Did they choose that date? I know they wanted a speedy trial and all of that, but that's speedy, speedy. And, I don't know, like, if I was in his camp, I would be, Nervous. Because, nah, it seemed like, yo, I don't know who requested that date. I know, like, because he can't get no bail, he wants the trial. He would want the trial to be speedy because, like, if you could get a bail, you could be out fighting the case. You understand? You look better when you go to court in street clothes. You go to court in a suit. I mean, even though you could get a... Well, I don't know what it's like in the feds. But I know, like, you know, your peoples could bring you a suit before court, right? So you could come in the courtroom looking presentable, right? But I don't know if that's the case in the feds and all of that, but I know it's, you know, it usually, you know, under other circumstances, that's that's permissible, right? But 
you know, still coming in court with handcuffs on, you understand what I'm saying? They bring you out from the back as opposed to you walking in from the front. Pause. It, 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 it don't look that good, right? And plus, if he was out in the street, he could do all kind of things right now to workshop, to, to, to repair, to refurbish his image right now. You know, his public image, because in, in, you know, in a court of public opinion, he is a body bag right now. You know what I mean? So, you know, he could be out here, you know, working the system, working the people, shaking hands and kissing babies and all of that. You know what I mean? But he can't do none of that because he's he's deemed, uh, you know, basically a menace to society. Old dog. You know what I'm saying? Um... Because they're afraid he's going to tamper with, with witnesses. They say he already been tampering with witnesses and all of that. And when you got somebody, when you got blowing somebody car up on your, on your jacket, nah, that re that reads as a menace to society. It ain't like you went and like it ain't like you got caught at the scene blowing up the nigga car or nothing like that. Ain't nobody saying you did. Ain't nobody saying you did it. What they're saying is that as you had them do it, you had somebody do it, right? So that reads as a menace to society. Like, like that, that, the way that reads is like, yo, we shouldn't even give you phone privileges, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Because you could do a lot with a phone call. And you want us to give you bail? <sighs> sit it on down, sit it on down. Several seats. Have them minivan you know what i mean um so yeah they allegedly hold up what did it say it said uh confirmation it says um reports that federal agencies baby hold on a second. all right on wednesday october 16th reports circulated that the massive 1000 bottle stash of baby oil and lubricant found during the DHS raids was laced with GHB. I don't even understand what it sounds like. I know how to read, right? Because I do know how to read, but with ADHD, I don't understand nothing I just now read. Let me read it again. Hold on. On Wednesday, October 16th, reports circulated that the massive 1,000 bottle stash of baby oil and lubricant was laced with GHB. Okay. All them extra words was unnecessary, right? Um... The claims appear to... Oh, I just want to say this. I don't think... Like, I heard about this before the 16th. What's today? The 21st or something? The 22nd? Listen, B. Where's my blog at? Let me see something. Let me see something. <laughs> Maybe I am a reporter. Maybe I can... <laughs> I'll be having sources and shit. Hold on a second. Let me see. When did I? Let me see. Diddy news. The baby oil was spiked. Or spiked? I put a lot of question marks on it. That's two weeks ago I reported on this. Well, I spoke about this. And maybe I, maybe. <laughs> Listen, the, the word was out there before that is what I'm saying. But anyway, it says on October 16th, the report circulated that the thousand bottles of baby oil was, was, was laced with GHB. The claims appeared to stem from reports of civil lawsuits against the embattled mogul, alleging Diddy doused victims with oil, oils or lotions containing the drug to, de to, to de dehabilitate them and make it easier to assault them. However, the feds have not claimed the baby oil allegedly used during Diddy's freak-offs was laced with GHB or any drugs. Hold on a second. So, the feds have not claimed it. That What that mean? So, alright. So, this is why it's like allegedly. Uh, we... <laughs> Just cause they ain't say it, did they did they did they deny it? Because yeah, like the, yeah, they trying to kill son in the court of public opinion, but 
that doesn't necessarily mean they want to let go of all of their secrets. You know, I, I said before on another blog a while back, like they they treating this Diddy case like a high profile album. They treating this shit like it's a Diddy album and not a case. Like they drop a single here, you know what I'm saying? They drop a commercial here. They 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 do they drop a, a, another little promo pack, drop another single. Just, just, they just rolling this shit out little by little, and maybe that GH, maybe the 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 the, the baby oil being laced, maybe that was a leak. You know how sometimes your record get leaked before the. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, this does not definitively say that it wasn't no. Spike Lee in the um in the baby oil. People are reading this wrong and saying Hold on. Popular social media account Lawyers for Workers debunked the fake news and called out other attorneys for repeating the allegations. Well attorneys was <laughs> listen B. This case is this whole situation is messy, B. I thought I had a messy trial. I would one day secretly one I'm, I'm gonna make a I'm a, I'm gonna do something with my story and my trial because my court case was a circus, right? It ain't I don't I don't think it got nothing on this right here. You got lawyer. Listen, man, my lawyer. Luckily, my lawyer actually cared about me. Salute to K Dogs, right? My lawyer actually went to school with Steele from Smith and Wesson. Like that's his dear friend so you know i inherited a lawyer as a friend you understand what i'm saying that's my boy so he 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 cared about whether or not i went to jail or not and things the things he would say to me was like 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 he literally agreed to fight me when i was talking about taking a stand in my case he agreed to fight me because he was like oh no the hell no you not And I, he like I don't care if you if, I don't care if you guilty or innocent you look guilty I'm not letting you do that, right? Well, not Diddy lawyers, <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh at that. I'm just I'm just I'm I'm not laughing at Diddy. I'm laughing at the information. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Like they like no he. He plans to take the stand and all this, that, and the third. All right. But lawyers are surrounding this case. I don't know which lawyers they're saying co-signed this GHB in the uh in the baby oil. I don't, you know, I don't know what lawyer. And I'm, I'm, I know it wasn't his lawyer that said it or whatever, but any lawyers around this case, like, if that ain't true, don't y'all know better than to say something like uh, it, it ain't no negative repercussions that y'all could suffer from saying something like that as lawyers publicly. Y'all got rockness monster over here talking about it. Niggas be believing. It. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Niggas be believing me. I've built. I'm, listen, I'm not saying I'm not saying it in a cocky way. This, uh, the people who know me. They know I'm not no liar. And I'm starting to feel like the people who who don't know me, I, I I think I have an honest quality that comes off to them too. Because I always notice like with me and P, when me and Ruck used to, like Ruck used to joke on niggas, they would laugh. He was, Ruck used to say terrible things as a joke. Everybody laughed. I say terrible things as a joke. Everybody's offended. Like they, they. <laughs> now, now everybody, now everybody's mad. You know what I'm saying? I lost a friend or something like that. They could, they think, you know, in my rhymes and all that. Like he would say terrible things in his rhymes. I say terrible things. In my, no. Now everybody's offended. I'm, I'm still sorry for some things I said in some bars. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, y'all. Welcome to the nation. I'm your host, your tour guide, <clears throat> the president. I'm the king around here. 
and the landlord, owner, tenant, the janitor, or mops the damn floor. With you, if you don't follow the rules. The rules are as follows. You got to like some stuff. You got to comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell for all the notifications. You know, if you're trying to be a taxpayer citizen of the nation, then leave you, leave us a super thanks. <clears throat> or cash app. You know what I'm saying? We actually you know, prefer the cash app because, you know, YouTube don't take a whole bunch of it. Um, cash app tag will be in the description along with the Bandcamp link where I got wild music at. You know what I'm saying? The, um, Slinger Rock Volume 2 was there along with Slinger Rock Volume 1, of course. I think it goes without saying. Shell Shot, Rockin' Out West, the very best of the Monster Monday songs and the freestyles. It's, it's wild. Wild raps there. So if you'd rather hear me rap than to hear me yap, then, you know, click the Bandcamp link, you know what I'm saying, and go and, and, and go crazy, you know what I mean? Also, the Crownsville album is out, you know, we got three videos off of there, go on YouTube, type in Crownsville, you want to see all of the Sean Lives On pop up, which is called Strength, the title song, Crownsville, we got videos for all three of those. Also, I dropped a song yesterday, or the day before, depending on when y'all see this, um, it's called BCC. It's fire. The song is available, but YouTube has. I'm I'm drop. I'm I'm. I've ran into a couple of uh. What do you call it? Rookie mistakes, beginners. You know, uh, beginners pitfalls, in um, putting it out. Like you know, the the. It's a weird. It's a weird system. Like the. You put your song out independently through these independent distributors, these digital distrib these digital distributors, and then before you know it, you got YouTube telling you you can't put your own video out to your own song because it got music that's copyrighted. Niggas, my music. Anyway, <clears throat> I, I digress. But yeah, um, in this 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 report that I'm reading from allhiphop.com. You know, they says they're saying that the, the feds have not claimed that the baby oil had had GHB or any drugs. But I didn't hear them say that they that Hold on a sec. I mean, feds have feds have not claimed that the baby that the baby oil ha was laced. You know what I'm saying? They haven't claimed that it wasn't. I mean, they haven't claimed that it was. I'm not, that's not exactly saying that they claimed that it wasn't either, is what I'm trying to get at. But my, I couldn't formulate that thought. Um, let me see. Let me see. Popular social media accounts. I said that already. People are reading this wrong and saying Diddy is cooked. The attorney said in, oh, People are reading this wrong and saying Diddy is cooked, the attorney said in an Instagram video. You would think if the feds found one bottle of GHB, let alone a thousand, when arresting a billionaire for human trafficking and sex crime and alleged sex crimes, that would have been the first thing they say every time they talk. And smoke and mirrors. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. They they allegedly said it was. They're saying that it's not now. I'm saying allegedly on that too, because we don't know. God damn it. There's also been reports of. Hey, this video is kind of long right now. Hold on a second. Pause. Pause. Protesters, get your ass out of here. Um. Pause. Anything else I may have said that pause if applicable. Uh, pause on any other applicable places. I don't know why I can't talk. Right now, I've been drinking. Maybe that's you know what I'm saying. Um, there's also some other news I'm gonna get into in my next blog because I'm gonna cut this one. I'm about to end this one, right? But the I was it the CEO or the owner of Abercrombie and Finch is um is in hot water right now did he get arrested or is there a warrant for his arrest they locked him up for a whole bunch of lot of a whole bunch of diddy like allegations he 
he don't look like Diddy. He don't look like none of us. But still, this is what I'm saying. Niggas was out here having party battles. Same way niggas battle with cars and battle with broads and battle with whatever else is. Niggas was out here having party battles. That's a lot. Thanos, is that you? May say it is a video. Get four peace signs. Rock on. Rock going.